Hello everyone and welcome back to the course Angular Login and Registration with Fake Backend. In this tutorial, we will be covering our second topic, Login Component. Now, this is our course progress and we have completed the first topic. Now we are on to the second topic, Login Component. And since in our previous tutorial, we had already built Message Component, building another component will just be a piece of cake for us. So in order to create new component, we'll be using command ng gc login. Next, we'll get these four files and we'll be adding code one by one starting with HTML. Now in login components HTML, we will be having an angular form from where we'll get username and password and also we'll be adding validations so that we don't end up with bad data. Next is ts file. Now this code here is snippet of most important logic from login.component.ts file where we are calling authentication service to validate user credentials and after validation forwarding it to the landing page. If any error occurs we will generate error and user will remain on the login page itself. Last is our CSS. So our CSS we are just adding a margin of 20 pixels. Now let's start coding. So the first thing that we are going to do is we'll be creating a component that is login. Now Angular create this login component for us. Now We'll just add code for the HTML page first. So this is the form. Let's add this code into the HTML. This source over here is just the loading GIF image. So you can have your own image as well. Next is login.component.ts file. We are done with the TS file as well. The last thing is our CSS. So that's it for the coding part. Now let's take a look at the summary of what we have done as part of this login component tutorial. So we have created a login component which contains a form for username and password. Upon submission, we are verifying the details from our local database and forwarding the request accordingly. Successful attempt will result in displaying home page. Unsuccessful attempt will display error on UI with the help of message component that we have built and user will remain on the same login page. So this is it for this particular tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be building our third and last component that is registration component. So that tutorial will also be a quickie. Now please subscribe, like, share, comment and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Thanks for watching.